All right, good morning. Let the record reflect that we are here on uh, criminal case number. Uh, I'll note for the record, uh, Mr. Griffin is present on um, the I feel like it is about time that the Criminal Justice Center actually does what it is intended to do. And that is to keep the criminals locked up and the community safe. I can't bear the thought of this happening to someone else. I realize, Judge, that you have the final say on this sentence. Considering the violent nature of the crime and the simple fact that Daryl L. Griffin has not learned from his prior convictions, I ask that you sentence Daryl L. Griffin to the maximum sentence allowed by law. Thank you. Apologize to the victim and to the courts. Do you want any further explanation than that? Well, I have an elderly mother, and I, I, I wouldn't want nothing that, like that to happen to her. And I just apologize. I have a 77 year old mother. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, I'm, I'm just sorry. Uh, but I do believe uh, that a maximum sentence on the underlying most severe charge in this case is warranted. So the court's gonna sent, sentence you to three years on the gun specification, and that's gonna be followed by an 11 year uh, sentence on the um, F1 aggravated robbery that the state uh, agrees merged with the kidnapping. So you can't be sentenced to any more on the kidnapping. They've elected for this court to have you uh, sentenced on the aggravated robbery. So that's an aggregate total of 14 years in prison. That's followed by mandatory five years post-release control. That means when you finish your, uh, your sentence in this case, you'll be supervised by the parole board. All Thank rise. I'd like to thank the transit police for their speedily um, uh, for getting the guy. You, they got him really fast and got him off the street so he can't hurt anyone else. He has been given 14 years for what he did to me, and I'm grateful and thankful for that.